Hello folks and welcome to App Screencast and in this video I'm just going to go over some of my favourite and most commonly used shortcuts for the Mac OS X so let's get straight into it probably a good one to start off with is probably just Command Alt D and what that does is um, hide your dock so you just Command Alt D, hide your dock and you wish it to re reappear Command Alt D again as simple as that when you've got it um, hidden when you hover towards the bottom of the screen it will reappear then it will hide again but if you want it to use it back permanently it just command alt d again um, reason I do this a lot is if I'm using an application like Photoshop or iMovie the dock can be a bit big especially the settings I've got mine, I've got mine quite large um, as standard it's quite large so it does kind of get in the way sometimes so what I would, would normally do if I'm on iMovie or Photoshop or something similar to that I would hide the dock, make my window bigger and it just gives me a little bit more real estate on the screen if you wish to access spotlight much quicker the shortcuts command space and from there you can launch an application really fast so to recap command space to launch spotlight one of the most commonly used shortcuts is just command Q which will quit an application for example here I got Safari open and if I just go command Q quit the application I've got dictionary open, so instead of going up to the menu and going to down to quit, I can just go command Q, quit the application instantly. Also, we have um, command W, which will just close an application window. As you can see here, the application is still running, but the window's closed, so it's command W. But also, um, a good sh reason it's a good shortcut is because in Finder, you can't actually quit Finder and if you've got let's say loads of finder windows open like so it can be a bit time consuming going through them all clicking to quit them so what I normally do is just command W and press it as many times needed like so so there I, I did it three times some useful finder shortcuts are command F to just bring up the finder window ready to search also command N to bring up the finder window it brings up a default folder whatever it's set at if you do wish to change your default folder just go to finders preferences and go to general and in there you can change what the default folder would be the following shortcuts are going to largely work with text either in a text document or even on the web in an email etc but also all these shortcuts work in finder as well so these can be pretty useful so you've got some text and you want to select all that text shortcut is command A and it will select all the text on that page also you can do this in finder command A again selects all the items in finder in the finder window you have open alternatively if you want to go command A again to, to uh, select all the text you can go mac command C to um, copy it and if you go command V it will paste it so just to recap command A to select all command C to copy and command V to paste and like I said this can all happen in uh, Finder so we can go command C to copy command V to paste and as you can see we've got the second lot so I'll just delete that if you wish to delete it command backspace command delete like that so what you have to do is command all then command backspace to delete simple as that so obviously all these shortcuts work across all Mac applications for example this text document command A to select all command C to copy and I can drag it into a well I can select an email paste it into an email with command B simple as that also in finder command A to select all again command C to copy and then I can paste that into an email or just into another window in Finder, for example, on my desktop. As you can see, they've all appeared on my desktop. As simple as that. And I nearly forgot if you wish to cut, it's Command A to select all, Command X to cut, and then you can then paste it wherever with Command V. Also, another good shortcut is if you're working with text. Obviously, this one's a little bit harder to harder to remember, but it's a very useful one. You can copy some text by command C on a website for example and when you take it into a text document you want to instead of just pasting it in and it being 
be in the wrong style you can go command alt shift v and it will paste it in the same style as you were using in that document which is quite useful if you can't remember that one you can obviously access it by just going to edit and it will match um sorry paste and match styles to access that but if you can remember it it's pretty useful some more useful shortcuts for when you're working with text is if you want to just like go back a word you can go alt then just use the arrow key and it will jump by just by uh, one word so that's alt and use the arrow keys so left and right to jump left and right if you want to jump a full sentence it's command and the arrow key so command left arrow key and command right arrow key to jump the other way also if you want to select the whole line of text instead of just selecting the whole paragraph you can go command shift and the arrow key and it will select the whole sentence if you want to just select a word alt shift to select it by just by words like that pretty useful quite hard to remember all them because they're all very similar commands but if you can remember a couple of the useful ones it's worth doing also if you just want to save a document instead of going to file to save it can be a bit you know time consuming you can go command s and it'll ask you to save straight away or command shift s to save as earlier in this video i showed you how to select text copy and paste and so on also you can do command all and you can go command b to make the text bold command b again to um, reverse that also you can go command u to put the underline it or you can go command u again to reverse that or you can go command i to make it italic and obviously you can add all these shortcuts together really good way really fast way to alter your text and obviously command all again select command delete to delete it all easy as that one i always seem to forget is actually how to capture the screen and the best way to access that tool is to use a shortcut so it is actually command shift free it will capture your screen as you can see on the desktop it's captured the whole screen if you just want to capture a selection of the screen command shift 4 and you get a little crosshairs where then you can select a part of the screen for example just drag it what the, what part you want release it as you can see I've got a second image which is just that selection so that's command shift 3 to capture the whole screen command shift 4 to get the crosshairs where you can select a certain part of the screen so that's pretty useful if you can remember it unlike me another shortcut I use quite a bit is control eject so that um, activates your uh, quit window from here you can shut down sleep or restart so just to recap control eject if you just press enter straight away it will shut down your computer if you don't want to shut down you can take one of the other options it's pretty useful if you want to put your computer to sleep straight away if you just press command alt eject push your computer into sleep instantly I'm not going to do it because I don't want to put my computer into sleep in a second but command alt eject straight away your computer will go into sleep right I think I'm going to end the video there hopefully you found it useful and a quick note before I do go is the shortcuts I've demonstrated um, in this video just remember that most of these shortcuts are going to work in all kinds of different applications on the Mac so it's not just the applications I've been demonstrating it's going to be more likely all your applications you, you use so have a play about try the um, shortcuts out and hopefully they'll make you more productive and make your Mac experience better so yeah thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe and I'll see you later